health, they can get this real easy because then we can connect all your dots. And that's important for all of us physicians to connect the dots for people, but to converse with people in a simplistic, forthright manner. If you don't know something as a physician, be forthright and tell them, yeah, I don't know. You know, that's better than coming up with some bull crap like autoimmune and crap like that. I don't know. But once you understand the lymphatic system and acidosis, you can understand all diseases. What you call, what the AMA calls diseases, you can understand all of them. It's just realigning your thinking about high protein diets and high acid foods because this isn't alkalosis like a lot of chemists think. Chemistry is not like some people think. Most, a lot of chemists think people are in trouble with alkalosis, and if you ride on that bandwagon, your, your wagon is going to Hellville. Not going to Wellville, Hellville. I have a question. Uh, can eating only fruits help in schizophrenia cases? You know what? Most definitely, here's, a, here's an issue. You think about herbs and things for glands, and work on the glands with schizophrenia. You work on the adrenals, you work on the thyroid, parathyroid. I'm training you guys to look at the pituitary because this is something you don't see too many places. I'm going to train you how to look at the pituitary and how the pituitary controls all the other glands. Remember, TSH is thyroid stimulating hormone. PTH, that's parathyroid hormone. All of these are coming out of the pituitary, turning on the glands. And a lot of times in the medical world, it's always the thyroid, never the pituitary, and the opposite is true. So you can correlate in a female real easy, we've talked about this many times, about pituitary problems. You're short, your periods are, are uh, either excessive bleeding or irregular, that sort of thing. So these are the sort of things you want to work on. At lunch, I was having a big salad of chilies with some people, and here's this lady, this young girl. She can't be more than 20 or so. She's at least 6'3", and no breasts. So you could tell that her pituitary was hyperactive, but wasn't giving her the breasts and things like that. So, you know, this is why getting healthy is so important for the balance of things. But I keep in mind... That all fruits is very powerful. And sometimes if you're if your clients, and I'm talking to all you YouTubers that are helping others, because so many of you are incredibly helping others. It's just, it's just all of you guys, Marco, I mean all of you guys. And thanks Marco for that. Matter of fact, Marco was saying we have a lot of testimonials on moveyourlymph.com. A very That needs to be a popular site, moveyourlymph.com. And there's another one. I, it's written down somewhere here. I'll find it. But uh, this is it. Uh, also, there's testimonial section on GrapeGate, GrapeGate, G-A-T-E dot com. Thanks, Marco. You know, i got so many here. We have books. Because people write their testimonials. They rarely record them. But if we can get recorded testimonials... That's nice because we'll put them up and, let, and talk, to, you know, your stories and stuff. You know, some people are working themselves out of hell, Bill, and sometimes it's really difficult. And then others are getting their remedies like this. Well, a guy in here this morning, a martial art uh, instructor, top, top guy there, really, really good. He started filtering in three days. Three days. And he starts filtering. I said, three days? His friend, another one of us, three years Three years. That's what we've got to determine. How can we get people filtering quicker? Now, granted, this guy has strong constitution and uh, not bad kidneys, and then the adrenals are halfway decent, so he got to filtering quick, and I see that. But then I also see the time it takes others so long. Don't say there. But the energy, uh, Gregory, was with the fruits, if you're not spiritually halfway mature, you're going to reach a point where it could be overwhelmingly energetically. Now, I know this sounds for some of you that are dragging your feet, but I want to tell you, you can turn that around. And uh, I, I don't go to bed till 2 or 3 in the morning, and I'm up at 6, 6.37. I'm pumping. This week, I, I transplanted some major trees. I dug holes for trees, you know, big trees, full-grown trees. We moved about 25 of me and another guy. And let me tell you, that's a lot of hard work. And it's just like, it's endless energy. Endless. And you have to be careful because you can burn your body up. You got to be careful about that. But... 
uh, be careful with the energy because the energy and you don't have yourself together, it can wig you out a little bit. So with schizophrenia and bipolar and the like, you want to work on the endocrine glands. These are more where your karma is stored. This is your, your inner bodies, your etheric bodies, your emotions, your mind. All these glands are related to these. So you've got two-way streets. You've got genetic weaknesses in the cells. Then you've got the flood problem that takes care of the cells. And then you've got the karma that's coming down on all of that from the soul's journeys. So it's quite a bit, you know, and you have to think about all that. But in essence, if you relax and let it all go, I've been giving you little tidbits here. If you relax and let it all go, it'll work itself right out. You know, the, the tools to hydrate and get, get your body more base balanced and get the, get the lymph filtering through the kidneys and the skin and, you know, get all this inflammation out of the body, repair any damage that's going on, remember yourself genetically to a higher level of consciousness. It's just reversing how you go the other way. It's that simple. Don't make things hard here. It's just reversing how cells lose their memories of what their performance should be. And how does that happen? Well, you only have two major fluids that control that. Of course, you have the consciousness of the individual. There's no question about that. So, so you have several factors that come in on a cell, the consciousness of the, of the individual soul that's using that body, but also chemistry. Chemistry is chemistry, and it controls everything at this level. So yeah, but yeah, take off with that. Now, he, this guy was filtering in three days with telling me he did a lot of watermelon. Mm. Well, we know watermelon's kidneys, we know it's red, it's aggressive, so perhaps. 21-year-old patient is not compliant with anything, herbs. However, if fruits could be the only option to eat in this house, then this could be the only way to help. That's what I would do, Gregory. You always do what you can for your clients, no matter if it's just diet. And if they can't do the fruits, you back them down and do greens. Green juices first, and then if they have to have, to have some salads, okay. Remember, this is a detoxification area, but... It regenerates tissue. It's an area that we should be living at. But keep in mind, man is still way back there where he's just now developing. I mean, when you don't understand and people knock fruits, that's a pretty low state of consciousness. You really, you know, it's just a, you know, so man's got a lot to work on there. But good questions, Gregory. Absolutely. You know, you try to work with people, but there's some clients, and you guys will see what I've been up against all my life. And it's uh, being a healer is a special thing because uh, you're up against so much, you know, so much negativity, so much acidosis, so much of all of this. And getting your client to understand what you're doing, that's another.